People often ask me, what does it feel like in Moscow right now? To sum up in a word, it feels surreal. I mean, on the surface, there is this air of normality. Um, the weather's getting warmer. Uh, there are people out strolling in the spring sunshine, relaxing. But in reality, there is nothing normal about what is happening here right now. We're seeing repression accelerating. Uh, recently, a Kremlin critic was sent to prison for a quarter of a century for treason. That's Vladimir Karamorza. And we saw a US reporter who's well known to us here arrested for spying. That's Evan Gershkovich. And then, of course, as you go around the city, you see these constant reminders of Russia's full scale invasion of Ukraine, the so called special military operation. Normality? Hardly. Then again, perhaps this is the new normal. There seems to be a big push now in Russia to recruit more soldiers to fight in Ukraine. You see the recruitment ads everywhere. They're on billboards, they're in shop windows. There's one on the door of the barber shop that I go to. Meanwhile, Moscow is gearing up for Victory Day, the national holiday that marks the defeat of Nazi Germany. And as that day approaches, there's definitely a sense of nervousness here. Some Russian regions have actually cancelled their military parades, citing security concerns, fearing, I think, possible Ukrainian attacks. The parade in Moscow on Red Square will go ahead as planned, but Red Square itself has been shut off, closed to the public, since the end of April. That's quite unusual, and I think reflects the sense of unease here. When I visited a World War II museum in Moscow recently, I was reminded of how the Russian authorities used the past to try to justify the present. Not only do they celebrate here the glorious Soviet victory over Nazi Germany, they also portray the war in Ukraine as something like the Second World War. To make the Russian public believe that again today, Russia is fighting the good fight, defending the motherland, there was a separate exhibition on here all about the special military operation, where they make direct parallels between Soviet soldiers killed in World War II and Russian soldiers killed today. The war in Ukraine isn't over, but already it's in the Museum of Victory. Its participants are museum pieces in a multimedia experience. It's become part of the official narrative of Russia's glorious history. But in reality, World War II and the war in Ukraine are completely different. Nazi Germany invaded the Soviet Union, but Russia invaded Ukraine. <laughs>